Previously, we discussed the supposed death of the Star Wars franchise, and many of you were of the opinion that of all the content Disney has given us, none of it justly carries on the legacy of the original movies. That is, with the exception of Rogue One and Andor. It is so often that I hear the sentiment, Oh, I hated the newest movies, but Rogue One was awesome. Or, man, Andor really shows you how cheesy The Mandalorian was. I think it's safe to assume that these two products managed to do something that the other shows, Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, The Bad Batch, Obi-Wan Kenobi, could not accomplish. But why is this? Andor and Rogue One will stand the test of time. They will age well. Ten years from now, nearly everyone will have forgotten about the I Have Spoken guy, or the Acid Trip Lizard, because hardly anyone will venture to go back and rewatch The Mandalorian or The Book of Boba Fett. But when introducing new people to the Star Wars franchise, you can bet they will add Andor and Rogue One to their chronological watch-through. But why are these two so important? It's because they supplement the original Star Wars movie, the center of it all. The pinnacle of nostalgia for many fans is A New Hope. It is the movie equivalent of the park you used to play at with the lunch your mother used to make. And how many of us would give anything to go back to that simpler time and relive those core memories? Rogue One, while looking nothing like the vintage Star Wars film of 1977, fits perfectly into place alongside it. We are given greater context for what we experienced in our youth. It's like taking your own child to that same park and reliving your own childhood as they are living theirs, but with the knowledge that you now have as an adult. Andor is not a central character in the broader story of Star Wars the way Anakin or Obi-Wan are, but he is the vehicle by which we set the foundation for the original trilogy. His story is the story of the formation of the Rebel Alliance. He is the spark that lights the flame of Rogue One. And that flame that was started on Scarif sets the entire galaxy ablaze for the original trilogy. We need Andor. We need Rogue One to fit into our real Star Wars timeline in a way that we don't need the other shows. Sure, they are fun, and theories and breakdowns and Easter eggs are what we live for as Star Wars fans. But I believe Andor and Rogue One will age better than the rest.